Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy, and this is my receiver antenna selection guide. The receiver antenna is quite possibly the most important thing to achieving a clean video feed, and which one is best for you depends on how you intend to use it. The most common is an omnidirectional antenna simply because they're the easiest to set up and use. Omnidirectional antennas cover all around themselves equally well. This means you can fly in front, behind, and to the sides of the antenna the same distance. However, most pilots do not fly very far behind or to the sides of themselves, and those pilots will see the benefit of a directional antenna. Directional antennas excel in strong performance in video out in front while limiting the performance behind and to the sides of the antenna. They do extremely well in applications such as a diversity controller which greatly extends the coverage and the video clarity of the system. Directional antennas are what you need to use in difficult environments such as punching signal through trees, behind hills, or inside of structures such as stadiums. The helical antenna is an example of a versatile directional ground station receiver antenna. The three turn helical is great for those pilots who need a little bit better video clarity out in front or a little bit more penetration to get through trees, but also need video behind into the sides of themselves fairly well. For pilots that need a little bit more penetration, there's the five turn helical, which offers higher axial ratio and gain with a slightly narrower beam. Both of these antennas can be direct mounted on a set of goggles. But for those pilots who need extreme range or even more penetration, there's the Black Cannon and the Super Cannon. These antennas are also excellent for long range Wi-Fi sniffing, such as trying to pick up a Wi-Fi signal two or three blocks away. My personal favorite antenna is the Crosshair offering four times the range of an Omni with a 115 degree flight beam and a 70 degree range and penetration beam, the Crosshair is the best antenna for those difficult RF environments such as punching signals through trees, hills, or flying inside of stadiums. The Crosshair is nice and small and can be direct mounted to a set of goggles. I've used the crosshair to fly from inside the basement of a concrete building, down the hallway, up the stairs, outside, and around back inside the building, and it worked great. For the true professional, there's the 13 DBIC pepper box. The pepper box offers six times the range of a circularly polarized Omni with a 180 degree flight beam and an 80 degree range and penetration beam. This is the perfect antenna for the low altitude, long range wanderer. It's also excellent for the multi-rotor racer that needs the best video clarity so they can see those gates and obstacles and run right through them. It gets this kind of performance, however, by limiting vertical coverage to only 55 degrees. So, the choice of antenna is up to you. And to change the performance of your video system, the simplest thing to do is simply change your receiver antenna depending on your needs. I might be crazy and keep them flying.